Hello, welcome to this week AI playbook where we're going to be looking at leveraging AI tool for market research and competitive analysis. When we look at the world we're in right now, it is easy to start a business. And not just that, even if you don't want to start your own business, it is easy to understand the current business you're currently working with. And what am I trying to say? When we look at the technology tools that we have right now, research and development that could take a couple of years right now are things you could do in just one day. So, what are you really struggling with that you think, okay, you get it done by yourself? That you think maybe giving it to a machine to do would rob you of your shine or would more or less take away the advantage that you have? Let me tell you something right now. Machines are here to stay. There is nothing any of us can do about it. At best, what we can do is leverage on those machines to fly even more higher. So what am I trying to say today? How well do you know the business you're currently doing? How well do you even understand how the ecosystem works? Gone are those days when you really need to pull out some Google form and trying to do some market survey without really necessarily having the core idea of how some of these things work. Today, with artificial intelligence, you could do much more with less data because guess what? There are tools that can give you insights on billions of data points only if you know how to use them. So there is no need to run business blindly anymore. You don't have to run your businesses blindly. You can more or less have insights into what you need to do at any point in time. And there are tools that helps us to do a couple of these things. And today, I am not just here to tell you or describe. I'm also here to show you example on how you can leverage on some of these tools. If you missed my previous session, I explained how to do research. We ex explore some of the tools that you can use. This is more like an add-on to that very edition. So if you haven't checked out that very edition, the link is attached to this video. So just check it out on how to do market research with artificial intelligence. Because today, we're just going to be doing the market intelligence, not necessarily having to explore some of the tools. So let's dive into what we have to do today. We're just going to be exploring just two AI tools today. And while preparing for this lesson, I came up with an idea that eventually I'll pull it through. And we're going to look at how I arrived at that very idea today. So you yourself, you can come up with the idea. But the cool thing here is that you don't even need to know how to ask these machines some of these things. I am going to show you step by step. And one way to also help you, I'm going to be giving you my own prompt so that you can use to create your own um, AI so that you can get similar prompt like mine. So let's dive into it. To make this um, very interesting, we're going to be using two AIs. One AI to do the market research and one AI for the creative writing. Today, I'm going to be going with cloud AI. Cloud AI is a generative AI powered by Anthropic. You can use Gemini or ChatGPT by OpenAI. Whatever one works, the most important thing is just follow the step I'm about to show you right now. Okay, so what I need to do or to give an analysis of what we're looking at today, we want to do a deep dive into the logistic business in Nigeria. Now, for us to really understand how the business work, let's even see for a while, we don't even know the kind of question to ask, but we know that we need to carry out some level of research. So all I need to do is, let's visit some of the prompt that I have already. So all I need to ask the AI is, I want to conduct a market research on Nigerian logistic problem and opportunity. As part of my sample project, give me a recommendation. So all I just need to do is, I can just go ahead and copy this prompt, take it to my cloud AI, like I said, you could use either Gemini or ChatGPT, whatever works for you. So I'm just going to paste this and run this through and let's see what the AI is able to generate. 
So once I get the response, this should give me like an overview of the Nigerian market space in terms of the logistic industry. So I can just go through all of what the AI has to say. And you know, I could as well just change this prompt, but I ask this question because I am trying to also create a context for the machine. I'm trying to create a context for the AI to understand what I am trying to do. So that when I ask it the next question, is able to recommend what I need. So let's assume we go through these problems, understand problem, research approach, data, collections, and blah, blah, blah. Makes sense. You can go through this. If you're not okay with the prompt, you can further still consider asking more questions in order to get that thing that you want. So let's say that this really works for me. The next segment is I can just go to my next prompt. So the next prompt, I want to say, hey, I want you to use I want to use perplexity AI for my research. Give me detailed prompt to use for each of the stages. So and that's why whenever you're using artificial intelligence or Gen AI to do anything, your base knowledge is very, very important. If this doesn't look good, if this is not okay, I can as well further expand sheet or ask it more questions so that the prompt can make a lot of sense. But if you don't address your prompt at the early stage, it's going to affect every of your output going forward. But it seems what I have here is pretty good. So all I just need to do is copy what we have here and just take it back and paste it. So I'm just trying to ask the AI that I want to use perplexity AI. Like I said, if you didn't watch the previous edition, go through it and you understand how this AI tool work. But just in summary, perplexity help us to get accurate data so that we can use for the analysis that we want to do. So if I enter it, this should be able to generate the prompt that I need to take to the AI in order to get what I want to do. So you can see it says uh, my initial prompt, of course, uh, provide comprehensive analysis of Nigerian logistic market in 2024, you know, gives me all of the prompts that, you know, if you're to make up this prompt by yourself, they may not be as clear as this. And mind you, that the Gen AI generated all of this prompt does not mean that it is 100% correct. So it is still our job to review the prompt to make sure that they carry the tone of the message that we want to achieve. If that works for you, all you need to do right now is copy the prompt. Let's say we copy this very first prompt. I'll then take the prompt to say um, perplexity, perplexity AI, perplexity.ai. Then I will just prompt or paste the prompt. And of course, through the perplexity AI, you can select where you want to get your sources from. I think I am okay with getting my sources on the web. I'll just hit enter here and perplexity will go around the web and help us source for the right information. The cool thing about this is if you are to do this by yourself, it means you have to do a lot of Google search to get the right resources that you need. But with perplexity, we can get accurate sources just here within just one prompt and we're able to get sources that really make sense to our research. You can see comprehensive analysis of Nigerian logistic market. You have the overview, you have the market size, you have the growth. And one cool thing here is that we get all of these responses from rep reputable sources. You can go ahead and click any of the sources, read more and see how they analyze and get the conclusion, which makes up the data. And once you're done, you can come back and, you know, continue your research. So all I need to do here is to follow this step by step, follow this step by step. And all I need to do is to keep the prompt going. I could ask, actually come down here to see recommended uh, prompts. If you want to see any of those, you can click them or you can just go ahead with the plan that the Gen AI have done for us. So we said um, this, the question here is saying, what are the top logistic challenges in Nigeria? You can see infrastructure is one of them, regulatory is one of them, security, multiple taxation, lack of transparency, you know, and it also gives us conclusion. Remember, you can always come here 
to check other prompts that the machine is recommending for you to use. Okay, so we continue like that. You continue like that. You check your prompt, you check your responses, and oftentimes you check it again and again, and before you know, you're able to get something that makes a lot of sense. Now, let's assume I am done with all the prompt that I needed to put, and I'm able to get a series of things that make sense. All I need to do is to then download this whole thing so you can export it as PDF. By exporting as PDF, it gives you the flexibility to be able to do something even more. So all you need to do is to save it. Now, when you save the PDF, there's a next step you can follow. The next step is to then come to this, your AI, this, your Gen AI, Upload that same file. So I can as well just pick that same PDF file. Once you pick the same PDF file, you then need to use the prompt that I'm going to show you right now. Yeah, so I already have those prompts, of course, which I'll make available for you. Then you paste this prompt. Remember, you need to adjust this prompt to tally with what you need to do. So with this prompt, you take the prompt to your AI with the attach file, let me see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. So what I, when I came and I pasted it, everything was jam packed. I just needed to delete it and I held down control shift and I pasted it and it followed the format that I had. So that's maybe a little hack that you want to follow. So when I just have this, you can edit it to suit what you want. And once you paste this, you're going to have a very, very comprehensive report. Report that you can then use to either pitch for other business opportunity, have conversation, or even build a business plan that you can forge ahead. Do you see how very interesting the technology space is right now? Research that will take you days, a lot of forms, a lot of um, analysis right now you can have it just at your fingertips and make sense out of it so my question to you right now is why haven't you come up with a business idea why haven't you done an analysis in the industry that you find yourself why are you struggling within that circle where machine can really help you to make things even easier all you need to do is combination or combining some of these tools in making sense and making good informed decision in your business case study. All right, so what do you want to build? I'd like to know your business idea in the comment segment. Of course, I'm not going to steal your idea, but I really want to know what do you really want the AI to analyze for you? And if there are specific questions that you want me to answer, of course, just leave the note in the comments and I'll be there to respond to you. And that's how we wrap it up on today's edition. If you like this session, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all our social media and do's. And that's just not it. You can also join the communities. Follow the link attached to this very video so that you can sign up so that every week I release a new tip like this, you get it straight away in your mailbox. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.